Game Prometheus giving you another live full game recap. Uh, Going to be using uh, basically some Patreon schemes uh, for offense uh, on defense. Be 34, uh, but I'll be using some uh, schemes for my Patreon uh, people. Uh, so I'll be showing some uh, play art and some uh, that I won't be uh, going against the 49ers. I'm using uh, the Rams, um, and you know historically you want to come out of that run defense right away uh, against your opponent. Uh, this guy was making some adjustments using an I-form, does a nice little dive. This is the one thing I want to say about this opponent. Um, this guy's offense wasn't good, uh, but he basically had a lot of big splash plays in particular. And right here actually float, throws to a flat. My defender is able to go and pick it off and actually get the ball. So in a really good situation right here, um, it basically get the ball right there. Blocking does not hold the edge. Uh, I had a, I had a pretty good lane uh, up the field, and uh, he actually goes ahead and uh, stops me. Check it down to the little underneath route, get a uh, get third and short, and then a, and a quick out uh, once again. I actually go ahead and get a first down. So try to do a stretch play. He actually does a nice little split with his user to stop that. Otherwise, that might have been a touchdown. Comes with a double A gap. I do not get rid of the ball. I made a bad read. I should have hit the flat and down to the bottom. And uh, you'll watch the double-A gap uh, defense actually cause some problems right here. Actually, he played pretty good user right there. He actually deflected the ball. And in this type of situation, even though you get that first, uh, you know, kind of a cheap turnover, you'll always go ahead and take the points and make your opponent um, basically pay for turning the ball over. You don't want to give that ball back to him and get him any kind of momentum uh, for not getting any points. So if you're, in, if you're in field goal range and you get a quick turnover, um, you always want to go and take those points. So right here, I'm going to run. I'm running, working with the uh, 335 uh, wide defense, uh, trying to work this. Uh, I actually had to jump out of this defense. This guy uh, was smashing this defense with the run. Um, so I had to actually go ahead and make some adjustments. You're going to see me playing with a lot of different defenses against this guy. Uh, so he actually scrolls out with his quarterback. I, I, I go ahead and roll, uh, basically commit my, my defender. It, it, he goes ahead and no huddles in scoring territory, his own scoring territory, with uh, basically a 4th and 12 situation. So I try to hit him. Uh, defensive back Ramsey makes a huge play right there. Actually, that was a right read, but I actually get a good play animation by Ramsey. Uh, go ahead, drop it down uh, to this route. This is Texas. This is really good um, under center type formation, especially uh, for easy reads. Uh, it allows you to attack your opponent off the side. you got a, a middle read. And then again, I got that little uh, read. Missed the flat right here. The flat was wide open for a first down. I took a shot up top um, and actually have to settle for another three points. So in a situation, you could have been up 14 to nothing um, and actually 6 to nothing against my opponent. Does a stretch play. Uh, I get a nice little block shed by, I believe, Aaron Donald to actually go and stop him for a no gainer. And then he actually does a run right up the middle because he went back to that 3 3 5 and he, he shreds it. Third and one situation, I go back to the 3 3 5. I think I jump in to uh, basically a, a, a quarters defense uh, right there and actually goes ahead and takes the ball right up in the middle um, and sets up. I'm still running with a 3 3 5. I don't know if he actually know huddled or not. Uh, basically, he throws it, checks it down to a little spot route uh, in the middle of the field. Does uh, the situation here? I go into uh, basically a 43 defense. My my safeties don't run, roll down and actually gets a nice little hole to get a, get a, a a first down. That 43 defense, which is a safety blitz, is actually a really good defense against a run. Uh, but I don't really know if it's that great against a run this year. It has been previous Maddens, and I've kind of jumped out of it because of 34. Right here, he takes a good angle, gets past my guy right there, and actually gets it right up to the 17 yard line. So right here, I jump right back into the 3-3-5 uh, 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 wide. I uh, get a nice little animation right there. I think I had uh, basically like a cover nine coverage right here. So you can see the flat is off to the right. Uh, so he goes into uh, a screenplay. This is one of the few bags of tricks that he actually had uh, on his passing uh, game. Now I go ahead and try to hit him with a, a little blitz. He comes off tackle uh, and actually gets a nice run. Um, perfect, perfect run called for that. It was a, it was a long 
strong yardage situation. He actually runs the ball. And right here, I'm trying to set up his defense. He goes ahead and switches things around, audibles. Uh, I think he actually hits me with an inside zone right here. And I think with this figure play right here, he gets good blocking, falls right into the end zone to go up by a point. So we go into the second half. Um, I, there was only a few seconds left, so I'm just going to go in the second half because this is where the, where the action's at. And he comes out with an onside kick. I do not make an adjustment, and he gets a cheesy turnover. I should have took a timeout, but for some particular reason, I just felt like I had a lot of things going against me in this game. And I felt like I'm going to need those timeouts. So right here I go with a super, super aggressive uh, run defense because he's going with everything. And actually I get a nice little uh, block shed. I, I think that defender actually did not get covered at all. So I'm actually in a different type of defense. I'm actually in the, 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 the dime defense right here, which is terrible for the set. I don't know why I jumped in. I jumped into this because it was a second and long type of situation. I figured this guy was going to pass, but this guy was so committed to the run. He would run, 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 run. And I, I'd be anticipating this guy to pass. And he wouldn't pass. He would just keep running. So right here is a situation where he actually got a bunch of yards um, and got himself fourth and short uh, in a running, uh, you know, basically in a, in a running set. Um, and I'm just waiting for this guy to pass, but he wouldn't do that. So it was one of those things where you really had to, to match your guys up. But here I get a great animation. Knock the ball out. He actually throws into the seam, and I, 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 I get a really good one. So right here, I get some pretty good blocking. Right here, Gurley's able to go ahead and take the ball up. So this is probably one of the best runs I had. And then I'm looking in the, for Woods, and then I'm going to hit the slant on the backside, but he actually anticipates that completely. He comes down and knocks the ball out. This is a good play by him. Uh, right here, this is a smash concept. I've got a halfback angle. And I'm able to go and hit the corner on the back side, on the left-hand side, uh, with Cup and able to get it down to the, about the seven-yard line right there. So back to the stretch play. This is a stretch looky, I believe. We're able to go to get some seal blocking, and I think Gurley is able to fall in the end zone to go up by a touchdown. Actually, I'm actually only up. I needed a two-point score. He was using excessive man coverage um, in his coverage, so I actually used that as a coverage beater because this guy would not jump on a man. And right on the next play... He hits a stretch and just takes off with Breida to able to go ahead and get another touch and score the game up. So those are the splash plays that you get um, when you're when you're playing against uh, a guy that's using one of the best teams in, in, in Madden um, in regs. They're going to always get those splash teams. That's why a lot of play players will use those best teams because those splash plays definitely help you. So right here I hit a little out. It's the Ohio concept off the left-hand side. This is smash concept. He's actually double hey, a gap in me, and I actually did not get rid of the ball. I should have blocked six. Back to the double A gap again. He actually gets the pressure. Right, the corner out was open. I just couldn't get the ball off. And right here, I do block seven, but he gets a nice little animation with this defensive end uh, to actually go ahead and get me sacked. So I had to get the ball back to him basically inside the fourth quarter. Now, I, at this period of the game, I actually completely committed to stopping the run. So I think I've got my guys in corner fits right here. He actually go ahead and make some nice little play right there. And that 43 defense against against this defense, his offensive line it just wasn't working, so I had to jump out of that. So right here, I'm in uh, basically um, a situation where I've got uh, basically some passing routes. He's using so much man coverages. I take a shot up top. Uh, Sherman's able to go knock it out of Arvich's hand, uh, hands right there. So right back uh, to it again. I'm in the spread formation right here. I think I've got some seams going. I actually throw to the right seam, and his defensive back actually picks it off. So this guy was. This defensive back was actually causing me some major headaches um, in the game. Uh, he's, he had a lot of a field that he was covering. So I got to get a stop. I have to get a stop. So I commit to basically 34. I'm just going to pinch my guys, go with the edge uh, sting set up, and completely commit completely commit to the run more than anything else. So he moves this guy in. Uh, we're able to go ahead and bottle him up right there, but he actually picked up a, a pretty, you know, a couple yards right there. So third, a third and ten situation, I jump into um, a, a different defense. I jump into the, the, the quarters defense because uh, he just really hasn't showed me anything. And I get a nice little block shove up a defensive line, uh, Darnell Lim, or that defensive lineman. So fourth and 20, he goes for it, which I, I'm going to go ahead and dial this guy up with a dime blitz. Um, and I, I was I was worried he was going to quick snap me, so I, I didn't want to switch over to try to get that blitz set up correctly. But you can see he got a little nervous in the pocket right there. I actually pick off the ball. I should have swatted it because I actually get sacked or get stopped right here. So 
two minutes and 21 seconds left. I go ahead and I'm, I'm trying to quick snack this guy because he's using a lot of man coverage and he's pressing his guys. And my guys aren't getting off the press. And I'm able to go and quick snap him. His defensive back gets out of position. And I'm able to go ahead and take and get get this, the tying score right here. So 21-21. I need to get a stop. I'm feeling pretty confident against this guy's offense because all he's doing is really splash plays with his run. He's doing counters, he's doing stretches, he's doing inside runs. And right here in a situation like this, he's trying to run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Um, and it basically, he didn't really have much of a, a passing game. Right here, he jumped into a screen play, and I'm able to go ahead and, and, and stop that. So he, he's got Kittle, he's got some really good wide receivers, and not using that. Garoppolo's a good quarterback. This guy just did not have uh, basically anything. Right here. So third and 13 situation, he actually gets uh, almost a a first down on that. So, yeah, he gets a first down on third and 13. This guy was so committed to the run, it was sick and that was actually the kind of plays that he was actually getting, uh, he was getting uh, splash plays out of. So, right here, he actually goes right back to the screen again. Minute 49, 49 seconds left. I get a nice stop right here. And I think this is when he takes a timeout. So 46 seconds left. I'm feeling pretty confident because this guy doesn't really have much of, of an offense outside of just some splash plays on the run. And he actually worked the clock all the way down and decided to go into the second half. So that was a bad clock management by him. Just work the clock down. I, I couldn't stop it. I did not have any timeouts left over. So we're going to overtime, baby. And what, basically what happens is I win the toss. So I'm going to get the ball. And I'm feeling pretty confident about this situation because, you know, uh, for the most part, I'm able to go ahead and move the ball fairly effectively against him because he's using a lot of man blitzes. So right there, he gets a really good angle. Um, I don't get the blocking right there. That could have went for more yards, but I'll take the first down. Come right here, hit him with a quick out off the left-hand side. He anticipated that quick out because he's been beating him with an all-game. Back to the quick out again. Uh, a guy came on the, uh, uh, under the out, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it down to that full back angle route, which is just money. Then I go to the stretch play right here, cut it back inside because of the previous play, just wasn't able to go ahead and get it to the outside. Now I go ahead and jump into a different play right here, actually send some pressure, and I got a, a guy in my face. That crossing route would have been open for able to pick up a good first down right there, so uh, it just good block shed by him. Try a little counter out of this pistol formation. Blocking doesn't hold. If it would have held, there would have been some big yards right there. So back to smash, um, and then I switch into uh, this Ohio concept off the left. I've got the angle, I've got this basically angle route right here. The ball sails, and his safety actually picks the ball off in the red zone again. So th over three inter interceptions in this game. Just very, very bad situation for me um, offensively. I'm just not, not chucking along. My guy's overthrowing balls. So right here, I go into a Bears defense. This is basically a heavy man blitz. And I figure I'm going to get everybody down on the line. I'm going to go ahead and force him to pass. I'm going to give him, give him a front that's going to mess him up. So right here, actually, I think he takes a delay of game. So once again, show him the same Bears front. Uh, third and second. Uh, pressure comes in. I'm able to go and block that ball. I've actually caught it. It could have been ugly. So go back with the pressure again. I'm going to stay with this man pressure right here. Try to get some. Uh, try to get make a, make a fast decision. And uh, pressure comes in by Donald to go and sack him. So he actually punts the ball back to me. So, minute 39 seconds left in OT. All I need is just basically a couple plays. I need field goal range. That's all I need. I don't need to get a touchdown. No pressure on that. So, uh, I go with a deep out off the left-hand side. He was kept on giving me the deep outs. I'm actually jumping into these plays fairly quick. Not really running them stock. And the reason why is because he's pressing his guys. And my guys aren't coming off the press. Right here, I've been setting him up for this halfback angle route. Haven't hit him at all with it come back to this. I think I know huddle in this type of situation. Uh, so um, right here um, I go back to this Ohio concept and I'm, I'm trying to hit him in the seam um, and I think he had cover two. I take a shot up in the seam and get lucky. The ball gets deflected out of bounds. But the way the game's been going, everything's been falling into his hands. So I'm looking at the Ohio concept off the left-hand side. That's not available. Then I check down to the running back and I take a crosser off the left and he gets knocked out. So that route was, was one thing. So now I want to show him something completely different. So I go into a trace set and I'll be looking for the running back but he's showing me this nickel day, a double A gap and I'm getting burned with it all day so I'm gonna block my running back I'm gonna take ever because he's got inside position I'm gonna put him on a slant um, and I'm just gonna possession catch and throw the slant and take the reception and keep the chains moving so down to 40 seconds left 
right here, feeling pretty good about getting myself redeemed. Now, what I like about this particular play uh, is that the running back route is a little bit unique. He kind of shakes a little bit, and then he gets really good separation. With a guy like Gurley, you're going to do that. So I'm in field goal range. I am down into basically guaranteed a uh, a field goal range. So he actually uh, ices the kicker, but I'm able to go ahead and put the ball through the uprights and get the victory. So battled back. Um, this guy, I felt like I had control of the game the entire time, but for one particular reason or another, this guy's defense would just come back. He got the splash plays. I had a hard time stopping his run, but able to pick, to pick up the W and keep moving on. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support to my patrons. Thanks for your support. Until next time.